Hi, I'm Jamie. In this video, I'll explain how to set up the Unify controller in the cloud after registering for Amazon Web Services. To find the pre-made image for your virtual controller, you can search within the Management Console for Unify's unique AMI ID. Following the tutorial, we recommend that you update the controller to the latest version. Click Launch. The micro instance will work fine for our platform. Click Continue. Under Instance Details, accept the default options and click Continue. On the page Create Key Pair, you can choose from an existing key pair or create a new one. Once you've selected your key pair, you'll need to create a new security group which will open the network ports used by our Unify controller. Create custom TCP rules for the ports 8080, 8443, 8880, 8843, and 22. Then create a custom UDP rule for port 3478. Then click continue. Now that we've finished setting up our instance, you can click launch. Visit the instance tab. The newly created instance will take some time to load. We can give it a name like Unify Controller. After your instance has finished initializing, Visit the Description tab and scroll down to examine the public DNS address. This is the host name that you can use for cloud-based management and that which UAPs will use to inform the controller. Copy the address and paste it into your browser. Note that to access the controller, we'll need to use HTTPS on port 8443. After going through a quick one-time wizard setup, the Unify controller is ready to adopt and manage its APs. Thank you for watching this video.